On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, finding your mouse and cropping images with ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk all about using uh, software in the church. Lately, it's been ProPresenter 5, but the ProPresenter 6 beta has just come out. And as such, I thought that we'd take a look at some of the features. I've got several tutorials all already up, ready for you to take a look at. But there are a few things that I just haven't touched on quite yet. So let's ho head over to my computer and ProPresenter 6. Okay, so right now all I am um, showing you is the main control screen. And that's on purpose because, you know, there's really not as much to see on the... Uh, stage display, you know, I can toggle that and you can see that I've got the current verse and the next slide up, no problem there. This is the main display out, pretty simple. But imagine that I had a, these three displays, the control screen that you're seeing and the stage display and main screen, and in the heat of the moment, I've lost my mouse. Now I don't know where it is, but I've lost that mouse. Where do I find it? Now, of course, you can see that I have my mouse right here. So let's just put it on one of the other displays and watch the center of the screen. You see that? Right here. Came right back. Let me put it over here. Watch the same place. Now, how did I do that? Well, you might have seen this blink up here. And that... It's actually right here. Find my mouse. Now, clicking find my mouse doesn't so much help if you don't know where your mouse is. But you'll see this thing. This symbol and then the letter M. This symbol on a Mac means option. The way I remember it is, it reminds me of an Aleph, which is a Hebrew uh, letter. You might know that I went to seminary, and that's one of the classes I took was Hebrew. Well, the button is Option on a Mac, but it also says in little letters underneath, Alt. So it's Alt or Option, Alt, A-L-T, Aleph, which is a very similar sound to A, so that's how I remember that. So anytime I need to find my, my, my mouse in ProPresenter 6, I can just do Option M or Alt M. It's the same key. Whatever helps you to remember that. That's one of the great new features. But there's another one that I wanted to show you. Let's go to the Message Notes section here. And let's, um, let's just add a slide, shall we? Okay, now we're going to right-click and edit that slide. And when we do that, let's add in a picture. Doesn't matter what the picture is, so I'm just going to pick something here. Let's see here. Okay, this is just a white. Mm, that's probably not a, the best choice here. Uh, let me think here. For what I want to do... Let's go with Let's just do a search for something here. Okay. So this is a PNG. So this you'll see that it has transparency in it because it's a PNG and that's one of the great features of PNG but let's make that pretty big 
And let's imagine that, center that bad boy up. Um, again, I could change the guide. If you haven't seen about guides in ProPresenter uh, 6, you really ought to take a look at that. That's a cool new feature as well. So let's say whatever this was, this is my logo, but let's say that I just wanted to crop out this. Well, what you want to do is double click on one of these handles. And when you do that, you'll notice, now it might be hard for you to see, that there's also a set of black handles. And if I change that, the white bounding box is the window that you're seeing in and the black handles are the actual image. So if I make the white bounding box smaller than the image it crops it out. So this is kind of like the mask feature in um, Keynote for example. But if I take and I make the white bounding box larger than the black. So let's do that. So if the white bounding box is larger than the black bounding box, then we can see it all. So that's a cool little feature as well where you can mask out things. You can't mask shapes per se, but uh, other than the rectangle or square that you're dealing with, but it's a neat little thing that you can use in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that that's something that will be a feature that you'll use time and time again. I'm really impressed with what the guys over, and gals, I guess, over at Renewed Vision have done with ProPresenter 6. And I think that it's going to be a valuable tool in the toolbox of church videographers, production people, etc. for the foreseeable future. If you like this content, don't hesitate to head on over to my blog, trinitydigitalmedia.com. And if you want a free tech gift, I've got something for you. Head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. Select the gift that you'd like, and you'll also get a free copy of my email newsletter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.